Well, I developed a language called TLA plus for uh, as a way of specifying uh, concurrent algorithms or for specifying high-level designs of concurrent distributed systems. Um, and unlike most languages that uh, engineers use, uh, this is completely mathematical. And my goal is, in addition to providing a tool, <coughs> excuse me, in addition to providing a tool that engineers can use to find errors in their designs, um, it also improves their thinking about the systems they're building and um, ultimately leads them to, leads them to build uh, better systems. So most of my work right now is managing the development of tools uh, for use uh, for checking specifications uh, in that language. And uh, there's very little research uh, left to do in that. Uh, so both in managing the construction of tools and also in developing uh, teaching material mm -hmm. so engineers can learn uh, how to use the language to its uh, to its full utility. Uh, in, in which ways does it improve their thinking? You say? What's, um, how does it help them think better about... Is it focused on the algorithm more strictly and then on the... Well, it's because by right, ex describing it mathematically, you are able to get, I would say, closer to the essence of what the algorithm is uh, without having programming language constructs and concepts get in the way. It's, uh, it's something that's not easy for engineers to, to, to learn. Um, not to say that the language isn't easy. Um, I've been told that engineers can, uh, by themselves, uh, learn in, in a couple of weeks to use the language well enough to be able to use uh, to specify their designs and to find errors in them. But um, the changing the way they think part, that takes, uh, takes time. As a <coughs> excuse me, an Intel engineer told me, well, he said that um, it takes uh, I forget. I think it was, he said a month or two to get completely fluent in the language. And I think, um, I don't think that contradicts the, the two week thing. It just has a, a higher uh, threshold for what he considers comfortable. But he said that's just like learning a new programming language. But the difficult part of writing specifications is learning to abstract away the unimportant details and to be able to express just the real heart, the real difficult parts of, uh, of the system. And that learning to do that, learning to abstract, has improved their uh, you know, ability to, their, their system building uh, skills. The, the most dramatic um, example of this that I've had is that uh, I had nothing to do with. I learned after the fact that somebody, um, there was a real-time operating system that had been uh, flown on an ESA spacecraft. And the builders of that system decided that to build version two of the system a new version. Uh, and they decided that they were going to use uh, formal methods. Uh, what I do with this kind of specification is called formal methods. And 
I'm somewhat reluctant to use it because that tends to sound frightening to people. Uh, but, you know, a program is a formal object. So, you know, formal means that it's really precise enough that you can build tools and, and check what you've done. Uh, anyway, they uh, decided they were going to use you know, formal methods to uh, design uh, the system. And they looked around and they chose TLA plus as the you know, best way to do that. Now, if you're familiar with system building, you know that when you build a new version of a system, you know, there are all these new things you want it to do. And so the new system, you know, always gets to be bigger and, you know, more complicated than the, than the old system. Well, what I was told by the uh, person who was in charge of, of that project, that um, because they had developed it using TLA+, Plus, their new system had one-tenth as much code as the original system. So they had reduced the code by a factor, at least a factor of 10. Uh, and the, you don't reduce your code size by a factor of 10 by coding better. Uh, you do it by thinking better. And what he said is that, well, he said it was, you know, TLA plus, you know, allowed them to, uh, to think at a, at a higher level of abstraction, but uh, it's not that TLA plus is, is some magic bullet. The magic bullet is mathematics. And the reason, um, you know, it is effective like that is because mathematics is great. Uh, it is simple and infinitely more ex expressive than programming languages. And so that's, uh, that's why it, it works so well.